Hi Aquarius, welcome to Told Us Love Tarot. If you're new here, I hope you like and subscribe. It's going to be a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of Aquarius in your chart, this may resonate. Um, if it doesn't resonate, that's all right, Aquarius. Just check out the readings for the other signs in your charts because um, you can find a message that resonates for you more than this one. And you're also helping my YouTube channel grow. Uh, thanks for being here, Aquarius. I hope you're having a great February 2024. I hope you had a great Valentine's Day. Um, it's a snowy morning here in Massachusetts where I'm at. So I hope you're nice and warm. Staying warm or feeling good at least wherever you're at. Um, I have some new cards in the index deck and... I'm going to, if I don't get a popper as I share the pre-message, just going to go to where I'm led with the cards um, so these readings aren't going on forever and ever and ever as I shuffle. Aquarius, <clears throat> I've been like, some of the signs I've been like really tapped in when I'm getting ready for their reading. And Aquarius, I felt like super feeling the energy, Aquarius energy, like I was very tapped in, thinking about things, um, and I feel like if this resonates, please let me know in the comments, um, <clears throat> it's gonna be specific, sound pretty specific, but I'm, I'm really thinking it's a message for someone, these cards are sticking out to me, so I'm inclined to go down here, and we'll start with this card, um, I got that you could be picking a fight or a fight was picked with you. It could be multiple fights. It could be feeling like someone is constantly picking a fight with you. But um, I feel like this has to do with someone's mental state or their sugar levels or their hormones. This could be you. This could be who you're dealing with. Um, because I kept focusing on a pick, picking a pick, I started thinking about basketball. Someone could be a big basketball fan or basketball could mean something to someone. This is really specific. I got an Aquarius who um, could be going through a little bit of a, what I like to call a funk or a bit of a depression. I got someone who is feeling um, like sexually unfulfilled, is feeling kind of horny essentially. Someone who is like spending a lot of time napping and I got like I don't want to get too specific but like they satisfy themselves and then they take a nap um this could be because there's relationship issues happening or someone may be like as single as they come and they're just in a bit of a funk right now feeling very unsatisfied and single um if that resonates please let me know it was very strong coming to me though card that i was going towards that was calling to me starts with inconsistent then we go your love and belief in me has been healing to my heart <clears throat> excuses Excuses and inconsistent. Eternal flirt. What does your gut say? Your intuition. <clears throat> Honest, which is right next to excuses. Huh. Dominant is at the bottom of the deck, followed by different paths or lifestyles followed by eternal bachelor it's funny i was thinking that when i saw eternal flirt i was thinking someone who's just like meant to be single i can only ever squeeze you in and that's all i want from this not working rethink this move or decision um i'm getting this feeling of someone
it's like someone's afraid to say what they really are thinking or what they really want to say. This is giving me, it's not me, it's you. Ooh, shit. Energy. Um, different paths, different lifestyles. I feel like someone, um, it's like you're in a connection or we're in a connection where you're just not currently satisfied and either you or they are f like not saying what needs to be said but actions aren't matching and like someone maybe you both are recognizing like the writing is on the wall let's not make any more excuses let's be honest what do you really think what is your gut telling you and someone's gut may be telling them that they're just like meant to be single, that they're meant to go down a different path in life. Um, I'm, I feel like I've gotten a sexuality thing with um, Aquarius is so often, but with like the different paths, different lifestyles, maybe it is a different type of uh, lifestyle like eternal bachelor someone wants to be male or female wants to be single and wants to <clears throat> have an inconsistent love life maybe this is what they their intuition is telling them that um, they're making excuses for what they really want and are feeling Ten of Wands, Ace of Wands reversed, Five of Swords, of cups <clears throat> page of swords knight of wands seven of wands reversed queen of wands strength three of um, swords <clears throat> there's a lot of fire energy here um I think you or who you're dealing with Aquarius has had, um, how do I word this? Quite the timeline of um, partners and love affairs and boo things in their, life, in their lifetime. This could be currently this is someone who has, um, I'm getting a feeling of like someone who has many options, but is looking for the person that's just like them, the connection that's for them. I get the feeling of thinking about or talking to someone where there's like some serious heavy connections. Wow. <clears throat> wow. The Queen of Swords reverse is at the bottom now. Ace of Swords reverse fell out and the Devil. But I saw him upright so I'm taking it upright. This is thinking about 
obs this is like giving me obsessively thinking about someone or wanting to talk to someone. Queen of Swords reverse, Ten of Cups reverse, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Five of Pentacles reverse. I think someone seriously. This is giving me um. Pretty much what I've been saying, like someone isn't saying something about their current connection or um I'm getting this feeling of like it's becoming a, like work to love someone or it feels like it's become a chore almost to love someone. That's the way someone is thinking about this. Um, what's at the bottom now? Seven of Wands again. Queen of Wands. Strength. Pisces, the Hanged Man, the Lovers, Gemini Energy. Someone is either, <clears throat> it's like they don't know what to do about how they feel or um, it's like this feeling of knowing like how you're, what you're thinking is going to be um, hurtful to someone. This is also giving me something about maybe Someone having, um, an addiction that needs conquering or it's a connection that first started off like wonderful and now it just feels like toxic, unhealthy. Um, Seven of Cups reversed, fell over to the devil with the tower, the star reversed, three of cups, the high priestess reversed, seven of swords. I think you or someone has, um... Like with this Tower of the Star reversed, it's giving me something happened that can't be fixed, can't heal the situation. Three of Cups here partying, three. This is giving me like, um. With the High Priestess reverse and then the Seven of Swords. Did someone get caught up like in a situation where there was alcohol involved and partying and said or did something that um, that they didn't want to share but it or they've kept a secret and maybe it did come out. Whew, this is... Nine of Wands just floated and fell on top of my Ten of Wands.
And Seven of Wands is in reverse right above it. The bottom of that deck. <clears throat> Six of Cups reversed. And the Seven of Cups is in reverse out here too. just came out all right I don't <clears throat> the high priestess reversed the three of cups again the star again Aquarius energy Pisces energy the tower again these same cards in a different order Scorpio Aries so I think I was on to something nine of swords three of swords reverse justice Libra energy the fool Knight of Swords, all right, someone has said or done something that they don't want the other person, their partner, someone, they don't want it to be found out. It may have been found out though. Someone may know, but I'm just getting this feeling of it's something that someone did while they were intoxicated. I'm really getting a feeling here of um, vices, drinking, smoking, straight west coasting. Someone who you've been told or you've been saying was just a friend. It is not just a friend to this other individual. Like they really are sexually attracted to this individual. Like there is a lot of attraction between these two people. And either you've been told that they're just friends or They've been telling, uh, or you've been saying that you're just friends, but there's definitely some sort of a, a sexual attraction between two people. This is really funny because I feel like I've had a couple readings now. Um, Capricorn, maybe if you have Capricorn in your chart or uh, are dealing with the Capricorn, Four of Swords reversed um, was about like, do we date? The Hermit, Virgo energy. The Fool. <clears throat> Three of Cups now in this deck. It's the second card right there. And then Nine of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune, Temperance Reverse, Sag, Death, Scorpio energy. This could be some sort of old connection in this person's life. It could be an ex that um, they knew years ago and dated years ago. And um, it's like they still keep tabs on this person. Gosh, that was part of my Capricorn reading too. Maybe it's a Capricorn Aquarius cusp here, but... Um, it's like they still know what's going on with this person and they think that you don't know. I, I get a feeling of thinking about this other individual, but you wouldn't know. They wouldn't tell you this. Um, I get someone like having this major crush or having these like, oh, like giggly feelings about a person. Um, judgment and the five of wands just came out. Queen of cups reversed, two of swords reversed. Page of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Swords. Three of Pentacles, the Tower. Um, so we started this with the Ten of Wands and now Judgment and the Five of Wands are coming out. And I was saying this sounds like, all right, this could have been someone who like there was the strong attraction between two people, like 
a lot of fiery heat traction between two people, but maybe one person was married or um, just nothing came about it. But they were definitely like more than friends because there was this an attraction between the two of them. Maybe there it was physical. I get this feeling of in like the current, someone has still been stuck on that individual, that past person. I'm just getting this other individual. And now someone comes back around wanting to rekindle and rebuild. Um, let's try it again. Like the first time we did it, it did not work out. It fell down, it collapsed. But now things are like more in order. Maybe someone's feeling more in order. <sighs> because really I do get a feeling of there's like no one else that someone is stuck on or has been thinking about or has thought of. They've always held a candle for this person. They may have known them when they were way younger. Um, but if they always were like, it's just a friend, we're just friends, it was not just friends. Like there was something there. And I think to this day, there's something about someone who has still been stuck on this connection and would love to reignite it and restart it. And, um, I feel like someone would be more dominant this time around. I think before they were inconsistent and have had excuses and their intuition and gut is telling them that this connection was very healing to their heart and this is why they've continued to hold a flame for it and why someone would like, I think, to try again and things would be like much more put together and aligned maybe because there is no one else that they've continued to be hung up on and think of. If this resonates Aquarius, please let me know in the comments. I hope, um, I hope this means something to someone because it seems very clear to me. Um, make sure you check out the other signs in your chart. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will talk to you soon.